Let's talk about the playground Los Angeles. First of all, why the playground? Why is it called? <laughs> I always had the, the concept of the playground rattling in my head for many, many years. Because uh, to me, this is all about creative play. Mm -hmm. And I wanted a place called the playground so the kids could come here and literally play and begin to play on camera. Had that same idea that when you're uh, just playing in your room and you're mm -hmm. relaxed and mm -hmm. you're willing to just let it all go mm -hmm. because nobody's watching and mm -hmm. you're just playing. You have to get to that point where you're so relaxed in your technique that you can play on camera. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Jack Nicholson, when he shows up, he shows up to play, mm -hmm. just like Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. I mean, Shakespeare called all his actors players. Okay. And at the end of the day, I think it's all about play. Mm -hmm. So what are the different types of classes that you have here at the playground? The various classes are according to age and experience. We'll mm -hmm. have beginning level for children, pre-teen and teen, mm -hmm. advanced classes, and also those professional classes. Mm -hmm. It's a two-year curriculum. I don't expect every child to sign up for two years, but I think it takes, like I said before, uh, some time to really grasp the technique of working as an actor on camera. Mm -hmm. We begin teaching kids probably around six years old when they're reading. Okay. And obviously the material has to be appropriate for their age. So right. a children's class might be six, seven, eight-year-olds, mm -hmm. preteen, nine, 10, 11, maybe 12-year-olds. Although sometimes 12-year-olds are very mature and they go right into the teen group, mm -hmm. which is 12 to 18. Mm -hmm. For someone who's never been in an acting class, who's thinking about taking an acting class, what are, how can you help us understand what an acting class is like for, for you know, this age group that you're talking about? Most acting classes consist of doing some kind of improvisation, which is just making it up as you go along. The teacher will set up a structure, and the actors have to work within that structure mm -hmm. and play and create a scene. Mm -hmm. And then they'll hand out scene work. Okay. Uh, so they begin to memorize lines and make choices about the material. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that here. We have various exercises, improvisational drills, articulation exercises, relaxation exercises, because none of it means a thing if mm -hmm. you're too tense and right. you can't relax. So all through the process, you have to learn how to keep your body relaxed mm -hmm. uh, so you can perform on cue. You talked about a, an exercise I thought was really, really cute. It was about the, uh, something about the family. It's an improvisation uh, that I invented many, many years ago, about 20 years ago, called Emotional Family. Uh, and it's result-oriented insofar as I'm asking, asking the actors to uh, play these outrageous characters, to be part of a family. But the family, and they're pantomiming breakfast, they're miming eating breakfast, so they have to get through the activity of breakfast together. But I will tell them what kind of family they are, mm -hmm. be it the shy family, the loud family, the nauseous family, the ninja family, the uh, whatever kind of family you can imagine, the cat family, the, uh, the crazy silly family. And they have to then, once I say go, create that family. Mm -hmm. And they have permission to way overact. So whatever happens within the confines of the family uh, is okay mm -hmm. as long as they stay in character. Mm -hmm. And what it provokes is a whole lot of laughter generally from the, from the audience. Uh, it's hard for the the young actor to stay in character, but that's part of the drill. But mainly I brought it up because I wanted the actors, first of all, to have to work off each other. Right. Because there's four of them on stage at the same time, so they really need to listen to one another or else it becomes chaos right away. Mm -hmm. uh, but fundamentally, it points out the necessity of making choices and how once you make a choice to be shy or to be excited, that it manifests itself in your body language, in mm -hmm. your behavior. Mm -hmm. And that's what we really believe when we're watching acting. It's all about behavior. Right. And behavior comes from making specific choices and committing to those choices 100%. That's the tough part, mm -hmm. to give yourself permission to believe your choices. Okay. So that's what that emotional family is all about, as a beginning exercise for the actor to feel it in their body. Okay.